Par should be able to hear that there's a vehicle off to his left, but with that Mark 19, you're not gonna do anything. BMD makes quick work. That is just incredible. VDV armor is just tearing through anything they see. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a gaming squad from the top down. And in this one, we've got the VDV Russian Airborne up against the Turkish Land Forces on Yeho. This is Yeho Ras V15. Yes, we've gone so far high in the numbers that we don't even have a squad maps map to show y'all, so enjoy this one. But it is probably one of the better asymmetrical, conventional, unconventional matchups that you have in game right now. VDV are light, they're mobile, their vehicles pack a punch, but they are lightly armored. The Turks, on the other hand, have really, really good infantry squads, and their vehicles are lightly armored, as well as having a couple like the M60Ts that have ATGMs and the ACVs that have some Bushmaster cannons. It's an interesting matchup, and as slow as this game started, I cannot believe how much of a slugfest it turned into, so I think you guys are going to enjoy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and don't forget to stop by the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, or here on YouTube, since yes, I stream on both platforms, so whichever one you like, I hope to see you there. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right, I in the sky. This is Yeharivka. Yeharivka Ras V15. We, there's a lot of layers for this map. We got uh, the Turkish land forces up against the VDV, uh, so Russian airborne. And this should be a good one. We are on board with the VDV. They're spawning in from the northwest side of Yeho. Uh, first point is Zolota Hillside, then Ivanivka, down to Lower Pet, over to West Step, then East Novo, Yeho Airfield, and then also Airfield Hangar. So going to be probably a lot of action down south. Uh, we'll have to see the rollout. Uh, in terms of vehicles, uh, VDV start with the uh, uh, the two helicopters, then the Sprout and uh, Tank Destroyer. Um, BTR ZD, that is a, a small, these smaller BTRs that they have with an anti-aircraft gun on it. T-72, uh, BMD-1, a BMD-4, these BTRs that we mentioned before, as well as some Lodgies. Uh, the Turks get the BMC Lodgies and transports, uh, a Cobra, which is their armored car, uh, with the M2 50 cal on top of it, a PARS-3 with the Mark 19 grenade launcher uh, on top of it, the and then the ACV-15 uh, with the 50 cal, so just a... Yep. Uh, a lightly so armored personnel carrier with a 50 cal right. pars, third, uh, pars 3 with a 25 mil so it's a an ifv with a bradley cannon on top of it and then the acv with the bradley cannon on top of it this is turkish armor is interesting then uh, two m60s to counter the one t72 so armor balance is a little interesting one tank one tank destroyer against two tanks and uh and only one helicopter. So this is pretty, I don't want to say unbalanced. Uh, it's a little asymmetrical. So I'm really interested to see um, how both sides handle this, uh, especially the two, two M60 tanks. Those things can be kind of, um, I don't know, if, squishy might be the best word. So little squishy tanks. VDV on rollout, pushing down south towards the Mogi area and deciding to do a nice little flyby as I am in the admin camera. Well, we'll see. If you if you start off the game with a, a barrel roll, uh, that's that's quite cocky. So we'll have to see if they live up to it. So helicopters rolling out, VDV. Uh, with their uh, hips, that's going to be, I don't think they have even just a handful of infantry inside. Squad 7 pushing way out west. This is not going to be in the playable area. Going to be completely out of it. Kind of a really ballsy push because they're going to have to pick up and move. Squad 1, Nelio also doesn't have anyone. Um, for some reason, no helicopters are forward deploying troops. It's actually... Usually, Yeho, you have the, the kind of meta, I guess, would be that if you're Russia from the northwest, you would actually push onto Novo. You'd drop in, try to get that, that forward advanced infantry squad. 
and then uh, see what happens. Neither team is doing it. Armor for Russia pushing up way north. And looks like they might just go right down Main Street here to lower Pet West Step. But the... Uh, the keep forget is acv 15 25 mil with uh bakken calls <laughs> gtx uh 99 and fresh winner they're pushing this east side um overall uh, pretty slow and patient kind of deliberate uh rollout squad four still nobody inside squad oh command squad for the russians uh just chilling this is not bad they, they have so Squad 7 as well. This is actually pretty smart. Um, if you guys are trying to get into squad leading, you don't know what to do on rollouts. Squad 7 set a rally way out here. They didn't drop a radio yet. They didn't drop a hab. They're just kind of waiting. Uh, command squad as well was waiting. So that way you're not wasting any build. You're not getting any radios. You're just kind of waiting to see the rollout goes before you decide to commit to a spot. So uh, I, I do like that play from both squad leaders. Squad 7 way out west might pick up and move here shortly. So you guys are taking, you guys are going to get uh, that point, Ivanka? Very, very slow start, yeah, though. I think the next cap should be around uh, November 9th. Each team's uh, kind of sticking for, uh, to their own point. side. So uh, the Turks yeah, actually have the advantage years. right now because they're going to have two caps from the get-go. That means they're going to see this is a, what, seven-layer cap. So they have Airfield, Yeho, into East Novo. They're going to be able to maybe even capture three points before the Turks even get to Ivanivka. Uh, so the Turks, in terms of positioning, might be much better. And we might be on a collision course. You can see Armor Squad's pushing east for the VDV and the ACV-15. And I'm, I'm just going to be real here, guys. This is like the most meme of vehicles here. I think we can even... Where is he? It, it's just like oh an M113 God. APC with a Bushmaster on top of it. <laughs> Absolute meme machine right here. And they're also in kind of a spot where you can't really see, like... This is, you, you want to ambush if you're the ACV, but you're kind of putting yourself way up into no man's land. What happened there, one? There was a fucking hole in the roof. Looks like one, <laughs> might have just lost a helicopter here. There was here. a hole in the roof, I feel. Squad one got stuck in uh, his helicopter in Ivanivka. Oh, that's actually hilarious. So I need a medic up here. even Nivka, um, the helicopter went to land to cap. The pilot dismounted from the helicopter and fell through a hole in the roof and died to fall damage. <laughs> so that's actually what he died from. So our first casualty is a helicopter pilot falling. And here we go. We have a collision course. That is a BMD. Might be the BMD one. You should hear him. If you're the uh, ACV. Sorry, what about a left where? Can you go scout like M12, M13 for enemy armor? ACV turning to see it. BMD1 right in front of him. He's being patient. Too patient. Are you kidding me? Wait till he's completely around and he pushes so far up. Waits until he's like at the top of the hill so now he's able to turn around and get out of way i have no idea why he waited that long bmd is now in the ambush position might just pull the whoopsie daisy bmd's turning his turret oh misses his first shot bmd whiffs it acv 15 now can pounce that is a GL on top. They're actually using GL smoke to try to conceal the BMD. ACV's just firing blindly. BMD misses. He's firing into him. And there it goes. Oh my goodness. The tank destroyer from behind saves 
the BMD. And ACV15 had the opportunity to just completely clap. Honestly, both these vehicles, but decided to wait for just a little too long and ends up taking none of them out. BMD is damaged, but the Sprout saves the day. ACV-15 with a absolutely huge whiff. That is just, that is not how you ambush vehicles here. Got a little too cute with everything. Well, and there you go. First blood in the vehicles goes to the VDV. Yeah, two and, and, uh, two and six, you guys go west. We just got deleted by a LAV. And the PARS or 15, PARS. or PARS 15, the PARS 3 is now PARS maybe next on the list. Back. Here we, we try to get there quick enough. So way out west here, we had a PARS right. ambush infantry. You see his smoke. He just popped his smoke trying to get out of there. PARS uh, is uh, hightailing uh, it. Uh, can you pick us up at main? Let me, um, track 20 down. As an ACV is now trying to engage yeah, him as well, I, I think the PARS is going to get uh, out. Someone I... Elevator or something? And yeah, he looks like he's going to be uh, okay. There's another uh, ACV helicopter ride for down second. below us. Murder. Or not ACV, rather, the, uh, the BMD-4. Main right now. And T-72 also trying to lock down this right, PARS, right, right, but yeah, PARS, yeah. you can see, um, AV Yoru and Fluffy Canada, they are just out. They do not want to mess around. And hold on yeah, a second. Get some heli drops to Petrivka? Helicopter just spun around and I think almost nearly My blew up. All of a sudden, a very slow start, but all of a sudden vehicles just kind of yeah, falling out of the sky and, and blowing up. Uh, Armor. Pars moving to engage, gets the first shot on the BMD-4, and oh my goodness. Thought it was going to be a good ambush from the Pars, but not with that double barrel BMD. Takes one shot with the, the cannon, and then hold on a second. T-72 is also engaged now, so we see a tank round deflects. right in front of the t72 who is tracked and trying to get eyes on this m60 which is way downtown i think on this hillside t72 is trying to figure out just where those shots came from there it is nice hit. good hit m60 has to pop smoke and what a shot only one round enough to scare and the BMD off to our left, off screen, is actually yeah, engaging the M60 as well. He has enough firepower in that double barrel cannon. Yeah. And another shot through the smoke. Unbelievable. M60 gets the pounce on the T72, and the T72 shrugs it off, straightens out, and just pops it. Great composure for the Russian tank crew. Scratch one M60T, and the Turks have lost three vehicles in really quick succession. Let me know what you guys want, or if you want it. That is... And you said... You have another M60, but really... Oh, you can see another M60 is rolling up. These M60s should have been moving together. And right now you're going to have three Russian vehicles all next to each other. The T-72, the Sprout, and the B&D. No oh, I'm sorry, no build. So once Bill gets here, you guys can come back. Yep. Can we get the team? And they're just going to be kind of owning all of this uh, northern Yeho area. It, this, this M60, if they're spotted... There's so much firepower. I mean, you can just... Each vehicle could take one shot and this Six thing could pop. Point. Easy. I'm sorry, I heard you move. Yep. Um, let's take a look real quick on the infantry side of things because we have West Step was secured by the Turks, uh, which means that is the middle point. 
That is point four. So you have a lower pet, Ivanivka and Zolotta Hillside. That is uh, VDV secured. So although the vehicles are going down for the Turks, Turkish infantry at the moment. Oh, hold on a second. Pardon the quick camera movement. This is squad, uh, Helicopter squad coming nine. in for the we VDV, flying right by this main highway. And tank destroyer. He is just being patient. They knew that there was another M60 nearby. They saw him earlier, lost track of him. And now they're just trying. Oh, you can see him right there. Oh my goodness! Oh shit, there's a tank. Yeah, there is M60. Yes, one more. Helicopter was trying to be maybe actually safer by staying low to the ground, trying to hide behind the trees. And instead the M60 pops up right down the road. Did not expect that at all. Pop goes the hip. What a shot from the M60 crew. And that's also hugely important because that's going to remove the eyes for these vehicles, these hips and these pilots being able to just spot this M60. And now you're only down one helicopter and with one helicopter already being shot out of the sky, the second helicopter is going to be very hesitant to try to go around and spot them. And he's looping way around and hold on a second. Because we have, speaking of infantry, you're seeing some marks hop, pop up now on the map. See these blue move marks because their squad is actually spotting them. You have infantry, two AT kits and uh, one hat kit. M60 needs to be careful because they might have taken out that helicopter, but Russian infantry is all over this area. And it looks like he's going to push down towards friendly, so it should be okay. At least for the time being. The infantry is... You can see the RPG boys. Over on the hill behind him, two RPGs running, and the M60, as long as he keeps moving, he should be okay. He needs to get back to his infantry supports, and here you go, Squad 8. We'll turn on our outlines here so you can see them. Squad 8, this infantry, is going to be the reason this tank lives or dies. And you also have the BMD-4 also coming in. Oh, they're loading up! just got marked northeast on the overpass. I think they're trying to ambush this, and they might not even realize, I'm not saying they're going to roll into a trap, but with all this infantry that they do not even expect, this could be an insane ambush if Turkish infantry is uh, paying attention. Yeah, you feel free. Feel free to back off. Two, can you uh, send a Vic back up here? Or three? Uh, we're on the MB-209. You can hear the wheels. And engines roaring, VDV armor Next coming around the corner. Oh, RPG was just a little too high. Yeah. Misses that T-72 turret. And now the BMD and T-72 are flying by so unopposed. That M60T. And they're just trying to track him down. And they have uh, taken a wrong turn. M60 has gone just straight. You can see him heading out towards a uh, step right now. BMD is going south. T72 is also going south on this main road. And now it's going to be a big cat, or ma cat and mouse. But the M60T, this is not a good spot to be in. Wide open field. Infantry, uh, enemy infantry nearby. You have see a squad five rally here. And it looks like they're spotted, too, as well. So, oh, here it goes. BMD. Oh, we can see the round flying. Gets up on that hill, and now they have the high ground. BMD is engaging from way off. And that was an ATGM as well. 
Uh, we're getting pushed and that's an ammo rack! On the lower oh! If we can get like one armor to Ammo back. racks! The M60! And they had one in the chamber, tried to fire at it. But that driver turns and that last ATGM fires off into the distance. M60. Boy, you can hit. Oh my goodness! ATGM oh, nearly yeah. knocks right. out the BMD! And it cooks off M60, just a sitting duck, BMD, with an easy, easy kill. What a maneuver. I just killed one of my observe on lower. And M60, we said earlier, was in a very bad spot, way too open. And they get absolutely punished. Okay, I got my supplies out. VDV is on a, on a mission, <laughs> and that is to delete every single Turkish vehicle. Uh, let's check out with the tickets. Uh, 291 tickets to 302. So, VDV, they are now, what, up? Four four vehicles? Uh, but because of the infantry fight and the fact that the Turks have captured West Step, which is in front of us here, we're going to turn this on. This rectangular prism in front of us is the capture area for uh, Step. The vehicles are absolutely pulling their weight right now, uh, but the infantry... For the VDV, I don't know if they're playing a little too passive. I don't know if they're um, getting bogged down somewhere. But the Turkish infantry is is really the best part of, of the faction. Uh, their their MPTs, uh, MPT-76, is, is a, a really powerful rifle. They have a lot of uh, machine guns in their infantry squads. Uh, they have a grenade launcher, a, a raider kit with uh, the SMG. I mean, infantry squads are incredibly deadly. And right now we're seeing that the infantry is causing the most problems for the VDV. And now we're into a nice little urban firefight just north of the objective. So if the Turks can keep the infantry bogged down, they might just be able to pull this out. It is 280 tickets to 282. Yeah, VDV is still down. But you just have to grind out that infantry. You got to work with what you're good at. And that is infantry. And good shots, dreams, and schemes. With a nice RPG shot into that BTR uh, ZD, that anti aircraft BTR. Ooh, and hold on a second. Cobra moving in. And which Cobra is this one? Is this, this is the 50 cal? 50 cal trying to lurk around and now you have Turkish infantry pushing across the road. That is a very brave. Oh, he's not even running with this rifle. 50 cal suppressing him. Turkish infantry. Try oh, RPG versus RPG. Who's going to swap first? They're both swapping to their rifles. Oh my. <laughs> both. This, uh, that's why you have to move around with your rifle. Just got handcuffed. MPT-76 opens up in a full auto, and that's going to be hard to control. Dreams and schemes with another full auto. G-side goes for his pistol. Oh, and he knocks him out. What a play by G-side. 54 takes a full auto blast from Dreams and Schemes, but manages to stay up. And that honestly might just save this fob. Dreams and Schemes was coming in. And you can see Top Notch Dave is there as well. They had this uh, fob overrun and they see the radio. G side with a massive play. Top Notch now trying to follow it up. Does he get Sam? Does he not see Sam? He sees him now. And Top Notch is just getting a little disoriented. Sam is going to run away with no issues, it looks like, as Top Notch. Is in the corner and he I'm just gets okay. an entire squad aggroed onto him. Mortars now coming in. And the Turks are trying to flank around to the west. Two, sorry, left guys, of us is west here. right now. West is yeah. Take a quick look at our vehicles because if the Turks had just a little bit of their vehicles, and hold on, speaking of vehicles, we're gonna flip it on over. So that is a defensive point, that is West Step. This next point, lower pet, is the attacking point for the Turks, the defensive point for the VDV. And you have a helicopter 
hip just dropped off infantry and maybe some supplies but you have a huge infantry push here look at this red wave just coming in and they have dell in the lodgy right in front of them off to their left is also this uh this rally toilet the king of skid park <laughs> all right okay all right you got any idea toilet the are? Is that i don't right? know if he I notices that there's actually What's infantry in this in the driver's seat i think they're smoking the road uh south of lower by uh, the btr with uh bronco baker Moving up a little Six bit, and then BMD four yeah, they're smoking the rolling through right. as well, and Bubbles actually squashes the rally. The rally was just there. RPG into the back of the BMD four doesn't disable anything; just takes a little bit of damage, maybe 10, 15 percent max. And Kali thirty one doesn't realize there's still infantry in this. <laughs> there he goes, finally. Oh. Mortar landing right in front of Kali and another RPG into the BMD. BMD takes a smack right back and Neptune goes down. And Bubbles leading the charge. And they're on the hab. Bubbles is in the hab. And you're gonna have it overrun in just a second now. Kali nearby. Hab is overrun. Not anymore. Enemy Cookie. In the, in the Turning his MG around. And they might see the radio. Bubbles might see. He does see the radio. That is spotted. Oh, March spawns in and kills Dell immediately because he thought there was infantry in the Hab. Instead, he, he kills his own squad leader. Bubbles going around trying to figure out how to get into this room for the. Oh, and hold on a second. D-72 now in the mix. Gets hit with AT. And this is VDV. I, we thought they were in the driver's seat, but they're getting really pushed on this point right now. Bubbles still trying to figure out how to get into the half room. Now pushing the Cookie Rats. Cookie Rats is holding his own. And he goes full auto. Bubbles is about to bleed out. Oh, and he gets killed with a grenade. Cookie Rat, what a play. Holds it on, and he might just push this attack away. Lower Pet is still is getting captured, though. Oh, my goodness. The Turks might just pull it out from him. Just stop the cap. They need more infantry, but look at the infantry. That's just storming in the south side. The vehicles right now are pretty much keeping the VDV in this. And the lack of vehicles are making it almost impossible for uh, the Turks to actually take over lower pet. You can see West Step is still okay, at least for the, for the time being. But RPG is going off, just trying to chip away at these vehicles. The issue is, these vehicles have a repair station right here. You can see just how chaotic it's going to be. And honestly, if there is a command, is there a commander here? Command squad would be great right now. Soviet gnomes. You, you want to be looking at, at your timing for uh, artillery, your UAVs. This is about the time where you need to start pulling in your command assets. You're 30 minutes into the game. And you don't have any big vehicles. I think they might just be spawning in now. Yeah, we can see PARs spawn in. ACVs have spawned in. But you do need a little bit... Well, if not vehicles, then you need your uh, ATGM, so you need a FOB. I believe there's an enemy heli landing north side of the drift gun. And there yeah, is. Okay. Hold on a second. GTX 99. I think this is the Mark 19 PARS. Looks like a PARS. Not sure. PARS, go for And that is, unfortunately, he's being... Uh, 
He, I mean, he's off by himself. Par should be able to hear that there's a vehicle off to his left, but with that Mark 19, you're not gonna do anything. BMD makes quick work. Come on, you have no idea where the enemy have this right now. That is just incredible. VDV armor is just tearing through anything they see. And the infantry is just running up against a brick wall. Uh, 252 tickets for the VDV, 200 for the Turks. They just cannot deal with these vehicles. And I'm actually surprised they're not even worrying about building ATGMs. I mean, you need an ATGM, at least one, maybe two, in order to deal with these bigger vehicles. But no Turkish squad has decided to build one yet. And the infantry are going to eventually just do nothing. Look at this. You just got a, a, a vehicle heaven. I don't know. You got all different supporting areas. The BMDs. Look how, how high they can they can nearly shoot straight upwards. I, see something in the trees. I could be wrong, but I believe that's from like lessons learned in uh, the Afghanistan war back in the 80s. They wanted to make sure their vehicles could shoot high up into the hills. So you can have such a huge range of turret traverse i mean this is just you got your repair station you have infantry everywhere yeah, but it's vehicles okay. are just going to have I a mean, field I day have marked, uh, south of Petrovka. Confirmed. Found it. now that the vehicles have decided to show up and defend lower pet we now have a fob which is being overrun on step We see uh, who's over here. A couple VDV have actually pushed in the hab. They've actually overrun it. Uh, we've got, oh, Arios and comes. Oh my goodness. Okay, really? All right, good, good. You're the best step, Lee. You deserve to get killed for that name. Why would you name yourself these things? Yeet re kills two, but not, not hateful. And Jake Paul fan 2012 knocks out the last and they might be able to save. Oh, Soviet gnomes, no longer commander. I don't know what happened to him, but that is super unfortunate. If he leaves, that means all the command assets reset. And I think the Turks are just getting maybe a bit frustrated at, at the moment. They, they are having no luck against these vehicles. Infantry, though, you're going to be able to save this hab. Squad 6 and Sapper Man's coming in. But Zulu, Echo, Scobe, VDV Infantry trying to contest this too to keep that hab down. We're going to strike the hot drop infantry on uh, L11 and I have outside of Petrifka. Zulu, Echo, laying in wait. We're going to see infantry. He full autos while prone and he misses. Like 18 shots, finally gets one. But he's going to aggro the entire team. And this Hab is finally up. You're going to be able to respawn here in a second. Find another possible Hab north of Fairfield. Zulu Echo belly crawling his way. And of course, right when I turn the map on, he gets blasted by the, the 50 cal. Just wanted to double check. Hold on a second. Because I mentioned they mentioned some armor trying to flank around squad one with Nelio. Yeah. Hab is, hab is marked. And this is now going to be an infantry fight. So down. Oh, helicopter gets shot out of the sky. Looks like squad two. They've been tearing it up with that BMD. Imagine how this game would have gone. If that first ACV-15 killed the BMD-1, they would have probably killed the Sprout as well because it's super lightly armored and you only need a few Bushmaster 25 mil to, to pop it. Imagine if that happened. This game would be completely on its head. It's just crazy how it's like the butterfly effect. Just the dominoes of, of one big miss with some armor assets early on can just really affect the game. Doc pushing up, simple staple, anxiety, and scope pushing on the other side, on the right side. 
We are trying to find the enemy radio side of Petrifka. And now they are down by 60 tickets, the Turks. It's going to be very hard for them to get back into this game unless they get a cap. Going from the top down might be a bit easier to see. So, anxiety scob on the north side. Oh, and mortars are landing right on the position. Unbelievable. This is just fantastic attacking mortars. VDV calls in mortars right in the middle of the Turkish infantry section. Knocks out an entire fire team. And that is going to just cause chaos for the Turkish defensive line. Hannibal just crawling around. And is trying to dial in on the hab. You can see the hab with the roof right here. That's where he's trying to hit. The first one was a little short, actually killed infantry. And there you go. Now they've dialed it on the hab. Mortar's going to stay on the hab. It's going to force one infantry to stay in there and, and keep his shovel out to keep it alive. Removing one more uh, infantry to defend. So just the, the scaling of this is just horrible. The, these mortars are just so effective if you have infantry to support them. And now, hold on a second. We thought the vehicles were out and helicopter solo Turk. Well, he might be able to spot these vehicles down south. Squatry, can I get some armor support? The hab is still open here and they're coming from the hab. Oliver so also just that. waiting. Man, this is the most patient. What, what even is he? Is he AT of some sort? He's a crewman. Did he, oh, did he get stuck? ABC. He got stuck. Or maybe he's trying to be holed down. Either way, this BMD, it's like this is his home now. And he is just kind of stuck right there. Pars is flanking around. M60 also coming back around. So they're not going to see it. Um, I, I don't like this, though, at all. So early on, the Turkish vehicles got killed pretty much one by one. By one, they had no support. And now, once again, you're having no support for vehicles. They're off going on, on their own. They're doing World of Tanks gameplay. And... T-72 is starting to engage Turkish infantry just north of Steppe. If you can get a track, just disable one of these vehicles. You have so much infantry nearby. It can just cause a lot of problems. Vehicle crews can start to freak yeah. out. You start to lose one or two as they try to repair the tracks. On the east, I guess. Turkish Lat trying to get in position with that RPG and takes a shot. Oh my goodness. Arios, what a huge play. Knocks out Dreams and Schemes, who's coming in from the AT. And the Hab. Is they're coming back up. The Turks nearly knocked out the Hab. Hold on a second. Where is he? There he is. Not quite sure what exactly he thinks he's going to be able to do with this M60 trying to get. This is about the same type of angle where they were killed earlier, but it's worse uh, because you don't have the height. I'm mark him for you now. You're a little too low, so you see more direct. Right there, right there. Right there. He's holding. And the, if if you were back a bit closer sure to here. Up. You'd be able to kind of see a bit further. This is going to be... I'm not sure if the M60 is going to be able to do much here. And it looks like Squad 3 in the Sprout knocks out the pars okay, that was flanking around. And there you go. 
Another vehicle goes for the Turks, and I don't see any way back now. Uh, 206 tickets for the VDV, 111 for Turkey. And helicopter, solo Turk just flying above, and he's been a menace just spotting infantry all over, spotting vehicles all over, spotting Habs all over. And... Bye. Looks like they're calling artillery on this position. Come to our head by West 70 with no supplies for a rep station. I mean, this infantry is about to get deleted, too. Look at the mortars just chewing through all the lane prone infantry. You actually have Kobe 1 Shinobi nearby, and I'm not seeing an, an artillery strike just yet. Sorry. Uh, I mean, this is just. Such a grind. Turn off the name so you can see a bit better. Oh, and there it goes. Artillery is going to pop down. And this is just going to be devastating for the Turks. This might actually end the game for them. There's still going to be a little bit. Oh my goodness. Three just go down. Soloing Gato, Froveda, and Bubbles get blasted. And another two. Foof and Bubba Fears getting tore up by the mortars. And now the T-72 engaging as well. If you see anyone with just a, a red horizontal bar above them, they are dead. There's a lot. Ranging shots about to go down. There'll be a Russian artillery barrage on this Turkish position. and should clean up this entire tree line. First, Art Artie shot, this first ranging shot lands a little to the right. Second one going down, and it is about to open up. First volley, and it deletes that first line. On the western okay, side, the Turks can do nothing. Easy there. This should be almost an entire team wipe. Unless there's some brave, brave Turks inside. Trying to huddle together. Hug each other for warmth and protection. Oh no, direct hit. A second direct hit. Oh, unbelievable. The, R the RNG for that to happen. It is just not the Turks' day. Two direct arty shots land right on their heads. And Solo Turk, is that a front flip? He's trying to get a view of the arty. Nearly front flips into it. And now Bronco Baker and his BTR go in. This has got to be it, 77 tickets. Infantry coming in as the, the mop up crew. Kobe wants to know he might not see one McLovin though. And oh, good shot, one McLovin. He might save it for the Turks. He's got to get, oh, this is why you don't want to do this. Oh my goodness. I absolutely hate blocking doors. So they're not actually able to save the radio quickly because they blocked it with a HESCO block. You now need to dig the HESCO block down in order to get it. And that's going to just allow infantry to push through. And that might be it. Nobody is spawning just yet. 195 tickets to 71. Now this is Russian smoke mortars. Nautica is finally in. He's going to dig himself back up. Now the issue is the hab is completely deleted. There is no more hab. So even if they no, save this easy. radio, you don't actually have enough build to build a radio. It would actually be better right now if they dig the hab down. So that way, uh, the radio down, so that way they have um, a fresh start. They can come in with their own radio and you don't lose the 20 tickets. ACV coming in as well on the south side, flanked. There is an MBT east of them. 
M60T trying to come in. This is a last gas effort. Yo, we got, we got Artie coming north of West Stepney. Oh, fuck. E-72 is north just on the half. north. Northeast. You can see the drive smoke. He is in the tree line. RPG might have tracked him. Okay. If that happens, that might be absolutely clutch. We hear on the radio four chevrons. That means the infantry for the VDD are capping Stepney. Oh, the T-72 is tracked. Or is he? No, he's not. He Houdini. He is not tracked. Turkish infantry can't get the disabled shots. And now defensive artillery. This is Turkish artillery. T-72 goes to engage. I don't actually know what they got hit from. From behind? Oh my goodness! They pulled the whoopsie daisy again! The B and D went back on the hill! And the t <laughs> Oh my goodness! M60 can do nothing! BDV armor is just on a different different level. BMD4 has been all over this map. That is incredible. And now they're gonna mop up the ACV that is just sitting tight. But that was a, actually a Lodgy. And there's another M60. That's fighting a T-72. E72 out of our left, M60 front right, and there it goes, another M60 pops! Turkish armor, no match for the VDV. And just like that, both M60s pop. Turks on the back foot, and VDV well and secure a Yeho. Wow. 11 tickets, and that is just about it. There you go. 186 tickets for the VDV. They are just capturing West Steps. They have been behind on the capture points this entire game. But that did not matter when they won every single armor fight. I don't think the VDV lost one vehicle. And if you notice, yes, of course, you want to have... If the, if the Turkish infantry had... A hat kit, yes, that might have been helpful. But the Turkish faction, you know they don't have that. Not having a hat kit doesn't make your players constantly go out and go by themselves in armor. Both of these M60s were never near each other the entire game. Every single vehicle was killed by itself for the Turks. They just never learned their lesson, and that's what happens. 246 tickets to zero. VDV with a massive victory. 215 kills to 125. That is that. G. Geez.